Alright y'all, what is up? It's your boy Dion Drill. Come back at another video. Okay, today we'll be doing a quick thought slash review on receipts. Ivory versus Lydia, Lydia versus Ivory. Uh, I got some thoughts that I want to get out and I just finished watching it. And yes, I got on this do-rag because I just went to sleep like with my hair wild and it's not getting right now. So I just throw on a do-rag, okay? So yeah. Um so let's get right into this review. Make sure I subscribe and anything like that. Alright. I do not as TV and Zeus. Okay, so kicking off this episode. Okay, so I'm I'm just real with y'all. Like, I don't know if these scenes like impromptu, like Okay, so kicking off this scene with Deja, and I ain't gonna like Deja is honestly starting to annoy me. Like, I I've I've always liked her and stuff like that, but like she's honestly starting to annoy me. Like just her two cents was like bothering me. But it was the owner, Deja, um, Kilo Sway. They were just talking about um, how big the chain situation is and, like, what's going on and how it's affecting other shows and, like, it's giving bad business pretty much. And uh, I, I guess it's a big thing. Like, I don't really be into now that's TV, like, tea and beef like that because it just it seemed like no shade, but it seemed like all now that's TV people do is wake up and go live on their phone. And just be arguing the whole day, especially cash. So <laughs> I'm just being real child in that essence. Okay. But yeah, so um I think Carly Red what dates Tilo allegedly, I think. So for Tilo be like, we're gonna have to call him Carly Red, you know, she won't get to down to the bottom of this. When has Carly Red been on to get down to the bottom of something? She can't even get down to the bottom of her own feelings. Why she moved in next to Spice on Love of Hip Hop. But anyways, they're calling um, Carly Red. Uh, Deja FaceTime is like, hey, we uh, we need you for this chain situation. It's over a chain. And Carly's like, what? It is? Okay. Well, I just finished up a case, so I'll be there shortly. Like, I know this took place in the same day. I'm pretty sure that production made them like hey Deja, you need to call carly red make it seem like y'all gonna like you finna meet her up here or you gonna fly out the next day da 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 like i'm pretty sure carly red was on standby while they was facetiming like i'm pretty sure she was outside the building on facetime or something like that <sighs> carly red comes in with her investigator um she haven't got her pi license yet but she's getting it and i don't know too much about pis but i know pi is a thing i seen it on goosebumps that's the only way i remember something about pi <laughs> I'm not even going to lie to y'all. So, Cardi Red comes in, and she's getting the scoop pretty much on everything, and it's over a chain. So, Cardi Red was like, okay, I'm going to do my research on my own and find out what I can find. So, we get down to this story. So, Cardi Red brings in Ivory first, and I'm not going to lie. Ivory is giving thief, baby. <laughs> Allegedly, like, it's giving thief, like, Number one, she don't care. She don't really give a F about none of this that's going on. She just like, it is what it is. Like, yeah, it is what it is. So, Ivory's side of the story was... What was her side of the story? Okay, basically, all the chains got put together in a bag, and she ended up taking the bag with her. And um, she had Liddy chain, but once Liddy on South Central Baddies, and they start filming South Central Baddies or whatever, Liddy threw the egg at her. And when 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 Ivory announced like, "Hey, this is Ivory," and Liddy still threw the egg at her, she was like, "Okay, uh, if a baby chain, I'm gonna keep your baby chain." And she said that on camera. However, Liddy never Liddy never heard Ivory introduce herself because Liddy her her guard was up. Like all her ops come for the GNA room. Like she know who she throwing the egg at, so she just threw it. So that's understandable. And then, of course, she didn't hear Ivory say, Yeah, I got some baby chain, da 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 da. Because the door was closed, and I'm pretty sure Ivory was somewhere else, like in the house saying that. So that was Ivory's side of the story. Now, Liddy's, I know Liddy's gonna explain the story down to the T. So Liddy was like, Liddy had this long ass story, and like, Carly was there, like, So let's get, what about the chain? And Liddy's like, I'm getting there. <laughs> so Liddy, I'm not gonna go through this whole story, Liddy explained, because she started. From way back when and got to now. But Liddy's side is they had a boxing match together. You know, 
Uh, they linked before the boxing match. Ivory had gotten to a scuffle where she brought, she was with some friends, got into a scuffle. Her leg was scraped up. She was really bad before the boxing match. And, you know, it didn't show in the boxing match. Like, Ivory had a big business in that boxing match versus Sanvi, which was a long time ago. But, yeah, so, where's I going with this? Yeah, okay, so, like, Liddy took Ivory under her wing. Like, she really cared for her. Uh, her her manager or whatever named Keisha, like, she asked, could they stay with them in Airbnb, you know? So, Liddy was definitely effing with her, like, she was definitely with her for sure. So it got to the chains. They was packing up. Liddy put the chains on the bed. Liddy was in a rush to go. And Liddy grabbed her chain and she just left without thinking. She'd been drinking, you know, she'd been throwing up all that stuff. So she grabbed her chain without thinking. And Ivory obviously came and grabbed hers plus the baby chain, which I don't think was on purpose, but she ended up grabbing it. And she admitted it wasn't on purpose. She just ended up grabbing it. So. Yeah, that's how they got started, and then how did they get to the how did it how did the 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 beef start on Liddy's side? What did Liddy say? Um. Oh, so Ivory obviously lied about it. Like Ivory was like, she lost the chain, and she felt like she lost hers because you know Liddy called and asked like on three way with the manager or whatever. Have you seen my baby chain? I was like, no, I lost it. And uh, no, her chain was lost, and she thinks the other chain was lost. She haven't seen it, pretty much. And then she come on South Central Batty saying that, oh, I have a baby chain. So they get an altercation, and uh, that's when I was like, you know, yeah, I got your baby chain, and go out to fight for it. And Liddy just felt like... Um, the once the episode got published, it went viral, and her kid had to deal with that in school, which is like that's detrimental. Like that's different. Like kids brought in South Central Baptist, I can't believe that. But I guess in the hood, you know, you come on the show, you're obviously watching reality TV, so the kid gonna tune in too. So yeah, it is what it is. So yeah, that's Liddy's side, and I think Liddy's side is more reasonable. Um I mean, Liddy and Ivory both got their points, but Liddy definitely broke it down. And uh, it, yeah, like both sides of the stories make sense to me pretty much. So they get to actually see each other. Ivory don't have much words to say, and Carly gonna say, "Uh, this was a this came back. This was a, a misunderstanding. How is that a misunderstanding when they both got their understandings? Well, I can see how it's a misunderstanding in the fact of." Ivory felt like the egg I threw at her on purpose, and she knew it was like Ivory coming in. However, Liddy was had her defense mode up, and she didn't know who was coming in. She threw the egg. Like, that was probably the only misunderstanding of this. But for them to say just a total misunderstanding when Ivory been on social media saying that she got the chain, da 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 da, and she said on South Central Bradley that she got the chain, it wasn't a total misunderstanding, but it was a misunderstanding that aspect. However, the whole situation, like, she should have, they should have explained, like, Carly was sitting there. That should explain, like, how it was misunderstanding. That's what Liddy was on. She was like, how is this a misunderstanding? My baby chain got took. So how is this a misunderstanding? I'm so confused. Can you pull up the lot of detective results? Like, she was asking all that. And Ivory was just like, I ain't trying to hear none of that. I'm just trying to fight. <laughs> you know, Ivory's a fighter. And she, she just could care less. So when it came to these fights, Liddy versus Ivory round one. Now, I ain't going to lie. It was like Liddy couldn't do nothing with Ivory. Like, Ivory was throwing her down every in which way. Liddy tried to get on the ground, but, like, Ivory immediately, doop, got her on the ground, flipped her on the ground, and she flipped her on the ground again. Then eventually Liddy got on top of her and tried to get some little, little hits in or whatever. Um, Round two came up, and Liddy, you know, did, did her thing. Now, however, Liddy be holding, and Liddy gonna grab. Liddy gonna put you in the head like she gonna work you. Like, that's how Liddy... Lead techniques of fighting, you know, she's not just going to come from the shoulders like uh, Ivory versus Cash. Now, I think in this case, like, I really want them to come from the shoulders. Like, I think Ivory would dominate if it, if it came from the shoulders against Liddy. However, that's not, Liddy knows she's fighting a heavy hitter, so she got to come up with her own fighting style. Like, it's not rules on fighting at all, but, yeah, I just wish they would have came from the shoulders at least one round. But we already know how that would have went. And I, I didn't expect Ivory, like, because that's not how Ivory, that's not how Ivory fights usually go. Ivory usually be swinging, you know, swinging them things. So for Ivory to be grabbing and getting the headlock, and that's not how Ivory usually fights. So I was like, eh. And the fights is kind of, 
mid to middle. I expected way more. I expected like at least they to get popped in the face one time, like how Cash did, you know, a couple of times by Ivory. So yeah, um, Liddy ended up uh Liddy ended up calling out Dunya as well, and uh, they was like, "No, nah, my B just handled you. I ain't gotta handle you." And then Ivory ended up saying, "You know, if your baby, if your baby." Da da da, you know, she was just going off being Ivory. Um she was definitely the what's that word? It's the suspect of this case. <laughs> she definitely had to chain. Okay. But honestly, it just felt like um Yeah, once they hit the internet and stuff like that, like of course Ivory was like, Yeah, I got your baby chain, da 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 like, she was holding over her head, you know. But all in all, oh, let's get to the end real quick. Liddy, Liddy just explained, like, I'm glad she got to explain that so her daughter could, like, look back and see this, which was, like, make sure when y'all talking to people, kids, y'all know what y'all doing because that goes back to the kid. It goes viral on TikTok, it goes viral on Instagram, da 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 It's going to come back on the kid. Her friends are watching the show. Her friends going to, you know, everybody in school watching the show, so the kid going to get bullied pretty much. Um, <clears throat> I'm glad she got to explain her case and yeah, at the end of the day, I'm glad she really got to explain it. And she got her chain. However, the pendant was missing, and Ivory did pun that pendant. That's what I feel like in my heart, allegedly. That's what I feel like in my heart. Um, I feel like allegedly Ivory pun that pendant. Because how's the pendant missing? Like, y'all obviously took the pendant off. That's what that's what hood people do. I got hood cousins, you know? So, that pendant is gone. Obviously, you know, Ivory and Diane did something with that pendant. Like, let's be real. Like, <laughs> And hopefully, Carly Red said, so "I got you, I got you." Like she for the refund for the pendant. You gonna get up? You gonna pay for the pendant? Like <laughs> I don't know what you mean by "I got you." And hopefully, Lydia explain that. Like, let me know in the comments that Lydia get that pendant back. Like I know she's gonna talk about it on her show, but I don't be watching her show or anything like that. But yeah, this is my honest review and quick thoughts for Ivy versus Liddy. Uh, I feel like it was so short, but it really ain't much to talk about. Really, like. So it made sense. Uh, however, I know they released this episode late. I was asleep. That's why my hair jacked up. I was asleep, so I wasn't really. I didn't really know too much about them releasing the episode late, but apparently they released it like three hours late or something like that. Um, I feel like this episode was a little underwhelming. The fight was underwhelming. The fight was mid. We see better fights than that on South Central Baddies, like with Lexi and them, like. But this is my review, and it's your boy Deon Drift, and I'm out of here. Peace.